when I found out that I was going to Georgia, I was really excited because like I've never been to this part of the world. I opened my Gmail and I saw that message and I was so happy, I screamed and I was very, very excited that I had the opportunity to come here. So YSI Georgia is the fifth YSI that we have had around the world, and it's the first YSI camp outside of Latin America and Africa. Because of the cultural background in the countries like us, girls don't have enough opportunities as men. It's an amazing initiative, I think. I think Georgian girls need it very much, and I'm very thankful for you too. For you for doing this. I can study coding, I can make new friends and it's amazing for me and I am sure that girl can do everything too. <laughs> for these girls this is really the first opportunity they've had to work with some of the technology that the camp has exposed them to uh, and it's also neat to see how much they're interacting and the cross-cultural engagement that they get. It's nice to see their friendships developing. I'm excited to be at YSI because I believe all girls in the world deserve the same opportunities that many other people have had for a long time. So they're becoming young women who are empowered in their own backgrounds, in their own fields, and they are really starting to um, empower themselves and each other into mastering those subjects, which they could typically be discouraged from doing. We are a founding partner for YSI together with Girl Up and um, the Intel Corporation. It was just an idea about um, how do we get more girls generally in STEM and how do we do this in parts of the world where that gap between boys in STEM and girls in STEM is wider than in other places. We're proud of what we do, we're proud of Intel, and we're especially proud of what we deliver to you. The most important thing for Intel is one, whole connection with the girls at the camp and having it inclusive. Second thing is learn a few of the technical skills, they can use them in whatever they choose to do. So currently, um, I'm actually teaching a class on the autonomous car. So introduce some uh, electronics to the girls and teach them the possibility that you can expand electronics into uh, everyday lives. I've taken the class that uh, teaches uh, artificial intelligence. We have additional sensors that will mimic the sensing uh, like sensors of human being. I have always uh, been interested in uh, drones and how uh, we can uh, write a code for it and how we can program it and it was really, really very interesting. My favorite part of YSI was actually today learning how to code drones and getting to move them through an obstacle course and it was just amazing being able to work together and make that happen. I'm part of a team that's teaching a drone project. Uh, what we really want to teach them is programming. The drones are uh, sensational, fun to use, and, uh, and a great tool to teach how drones can be controlled either through an application that you already receive or through true software programming with a, something like a language like Python. I hope they have increased confidence so that if they choose to pursue something in uh, the area of STEAM, that they, they don't hesitate to think about whether or not they should try it because they're a woman. I'm one of the Google teachers, so we have this curriculum that teaches girls how to do Android apps, and I come and teach them how to do so. so when you can uh, create your own app, it was really amazing. I think they will have at least basic understanding how, how Android works, probably how Arduino works and how to communicate from an Android app to Arduino. We did coding with Google because that was a new thing for me. I have never done it before and it was very, very interesting. So I was really nervous going into the coding sessions with Google because even though I did some basic coding at school, I was really nervous about kind of taking the next step. But they made it like a really easy progression and they taught us in such a way that it's so like innovative and that's easy to follow. Uh, one of the girls from my cohort had a temperature on the last day of the Google classes and she didn't tell me just because she was afraid that I would make her miss the class. So. I'm here at YSI to teach about basic um, microscopy. I had them build their microscope on their own without help. I said, look at, here's the manual, you figure it out on your own. And they were still confused, but at the end of the day, they completed it, they were happy, and a lot of them, you know, took a lot of pictures and they were excited, so I'm very happy. 
today we had a class about microbiology's role in one health approach. For some of them, it was first touch of the pipettes and slides, and it went very well. I'm here for like two Minecraft workshops, and uh, what we try to do is teach girls that Minecraft is not just about you know playing the game, but also about you know educating yourself because there are pretty cool things that you can do in Minecraft, like you know coding and chemistry and math. The mentor hours were really fun because I got to talk to some um, mentors from Google and American Society of Microbiology. I have learned a lot of new information, so it was like very cool. Right before your eyes, they're turning from girls into women. And now they're asking all the different questions, the hard questions. How did you know you wanted to work at Intel? How did you pick your career? How did you pick your major? all the good questions, prepping themselves for the next thing. YSI would not happen without the public-private partnership. We have an incredible partnership between the U.S. Department of State, between Google, between Intel, and between the Millennium Challenge Corporation. It's a true partnership. Girl Up is involved. They have been playing a significant role. Same with Intel. They bring in their incredible teams. Google, they bring in their incredible teams. So YSI is really unique because it couldn't happen with just one of the organizations involved. Girl Up is, is a part of this and has been, you know, since the beginning. We all bring a very special perspective. If you can bring other people together, we're stronger together. And what we're really pleased about is to work with other donors, to work with other the private sector. There's no way that any U.S. government agency or any group of U.S. government agencies could do this alone. Uh, we need the expertise that the private sector brings. Uh, we need the expertise that Girl Up brings as regards empowering women and girls and helping them develop their full leadership potential. The relationships are so strong, we just could not do it by ourselves. I think YSI in Tbilisi, bar none. We've set the bar high. I love the culture night. They had a lot of cool dances, like a variety of them that I've never seen before. For me, the ripple effect of YSI is that these girls will go home to their families, to their communities, and to their classrooms and shake things up. From YSI experience, I became more confident in my ability, in my soul, in my spirit. Before coming to YSI, I had no idea what to expect, but I'm so happy that I pushed through all of that and I was able to exchange cultures with so many amazing young women. Well, in addition to lifelong friendships, which I'm sure they will make, uh, I hope they all go on to pursue uh, higher education studies in STEM fields and also absolutely become scientists, engineers, designers, artists, whatever they want. Girls can do anything they want. I've made some of the closest friends I've ever had definitely here. These girls I can really connect with and I'm already making plans with some of the Georgians when they come to the U.S. So. I hope that when the girls go home, when they go back to their countries and their communities and their schools, that they bring the skills and that they bring the confidence and they bring the enthusiasm. After going back to my community, I went to open Girl Up Club there in my school and I hope that I will succeed it. Uh, I would like to make a change and give girls more opportunity the same with boys so they have a chance to change the world. One of the first computer scientists was a woman. So yeah, why not? So why don't encourage them to try, at least try, like they, so they can choose their profession freely. Really. These two weeks are not just two weeks in life, it's a life in two weeks and that's why I'm so honored to be a member of this big family. They should have that same equal opportunity and the question should be why shouldn't they?